Well, I'm glad that God doesn't require us to sing with beautiful voices. Amen. <clears throat> with the way the weather's been, all of us, I'm sure, can say that we've got sinus problems of some sort. And uh, I've got a cough drop in my mouth right now, so I'll get rid of it. But <clears throat> we're supposed to make a joyful noise under the Lord. Yes. <clears throat> and that's what I'm going to try to do. I'd rather have Jesus. Oh 
Blessed be the God and Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold, that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, ye love, in whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, yeah. receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, searching what or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look unto. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Now, one thing I wanted to kind of say here you know, before I go on is that uh, this this uh, this epistle that was uh, being given by Peter uh, to the to the strangers scattered throughout uh, Pontus and Galatia and Cappadocia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia to the elect. This is also a letter, a letter to us, you know, and it is specifically telling everyone, including us, as to um, how to believe, you know, what to believe, you know. It, it tells exactly what to, who Jesus Christ is, and it tells exactly, uh, you know, like in verse 10, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. The prophets that actually uh, were in the Old Testament prophesied even uh, into the, the New Testament. And uh, when Jesus Christ died, the things that, uh, that came true, it says in verse 12, And to whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us, they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. And then it says in verse 13, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and hope to the end, for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner, of conversation because it is written be ye holy for I am holy we ought to be holy because Jesus Christ is holy Amen. 
Sometimes it's like, you know, impossible you know, to be holy. But we ought to strive. We ought to strive to be holy. It says, and it, if ye call on the Father who without respect of persons judgeth according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear, for as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest of these last times for you, whom by him do believe in God, that raised him up from the, from the dead, and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in God. Seeing ye have purified your soul in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with a pure heart, fervent, being born again not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man is as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Amen. Now, verse 25 is most interesting because it says, but the word of the Lord endureth forever. Amen. This is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Now, in the marketplace, you know, there's different books, you know, and, uh, you know, it's, it's like uh, Bill O'Reilly from Fox, you know, has, a, you know, several books out, you know, Killing Kennedy, Killing Jesus, and Killing This and That, you know. Well, they're top-selling books, but they're not going to be top-selling for long, you know. And there's been books, you know, in the past, you know, that's been, you know, like the best-selling, you know, whatever. You know, the King James is still one of the best-selling books, but it is also one of the best non-selling books. People have been giving out the King, ja King James freely. You know, the Gideons, the, uh, you, know, you find them all over the hospital, you know. Overseas, there has been, you know, like people who's been uh, giving out books, even illegally in, in the lands, you know. The word of the Lord endureth forever. It's not, it's not just the books that is being given, it is the word of God. Not only in paperback, but by word. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. We ought to, you know, not only, you know, give the word in paperback or, you know, it's just not, you know, like a marketing place or marketing strategy or whatever. It is the word of God. It is, it is life eternal that we're actually giving to somebody else through Jesus Christ. Christ is the Word. Now, one thing I, chapter 7 and chapter 8, I mean, verse 7 and verse 8, is that uh, it says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen ye love, in whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Yeah. 
the things that give us joy unspeakable, joy unspeakable, you know, this is joy that you just cannot, uh, you can't define it, you know, it's, it's like, you know, sure I'm happy, it's almost as if, you know, the, the good taste of a, of a really good, ripe apple, and you know how it tastes, and it's, you know, it's indescribable. Try to describe that taste of an apple to somebody else. What does it taste like? You can't really explain it until you give them the apple, and they taste it. And then they know what the joy unspeakable is. The trial of your faith being much more precious than a gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Gold that perisheth is like gold is just a lots of piece of junk compared to the joy unspeakable and full of glory through Jesus Christ. No matter how much gold you have, it's still not, it's just a, you know, piece of sand compared to Christ. That's all I got. Amen.